Uh, so, uh, welcome to IELTS class this evening. Uh, this Thursday, uh, 18th of July, 2019. And uh, I am your host, Isaac Colombia from Matt Point Academy. Okay, um, so, for to proceed uh, with the class, I would just like to lay down the rules. For those who are joining through the Zoom, app, um, you will be able to interact with the class, but you won't be able to interact with audio voice because of the relative background uh, noises that an individual brings into the class. Okay, uh, so you have uh, some buttons that you can use to get across to me. You have the uh, raise your hand button, and you also as well have uh, uh, the, uh, what do I call it now, the uh, chat message. The chat message button is preferable uh, because uh, that's where you will send your response. Okay, we are also live on Facebook. For those who are watching from Facebook, you can just drop in your comments. Okay, okay, so thank you for joining this evening. Okay, uh, this evening we'll be uh, uh, starting off from where we left off uh, the last time. Yes, we'll be starting off from where we left off the last time, and uh, this is my introduction, and um, this is the lesson outline for this season, and in the last, uh, this is lesson five, this is day five of this lectures. Okay, of these are uh, writing series, and we've done two things so far out of the eight outlines. We are very slow because uh, we are um, basically laying the foundation. We're doing sentence structuring, writing an opening statement, and also vocabulary development. In the last class, we've focused on the sentence structure. Yes, and I will start off from there. So that there will be no, uh, we will quickly do that. Then we will go into the vocabulary development. Then I will add harmonize the two, how they fit in to work together this evening. Okay, uh, this is. Um, I want to write and uh, uh, about the physical attribute of Jide. This is the simplest format. But while I am doing that, in the last class, I gave a task. Please prepare your task. The thing there is that I'm not really finding it any more funny if we don't do our task. Because at the end of the day, when we get into the section of writing argument, of writing introduction, of writing the main body, all the things I have taught will become critical. Okay, so please and please be ready to uh, submit your assignment. Yes, just send it to the class. I, I normally, I said it, that I would prefer to get the assignment six hours before class, but nevertheless, I will be entertaining it here. Okay, let me give you a simple sample of what we have done over the past five weeks. The physical attribute of Jido. The first thing I will do is to write an opening statement. Okay, I will say Jido. Is uh, a very uh, okay good. Uh, let me say uh, looking young man. Okay, this is my opening statement. So let me separate it from the red. The red is to highlight what I'm writing about. That's why I highlighted it in red. Jibe is a very good looking uh, young man. Sorry, I say human. Okay, how do I elaborate? Very good looking, okay. Okay, so I want to describe the, the follow-up sentence should be an elaboration on what I just said about Didi. Uh, okay, he is, he is uh, very tall, has a 
a strong uh, masculine face. Don't uh, mind my description. I just need to give you the example. He's very tall. He has a strong masculine face and uh, also has a well built okay body frame okay so this is an explanation or an elaboration of what i am talking about gb so the first sentence is what i call an opening statement which is presenting my idea. It's just like having a gist with someone and say, Jido is very handsome, then I need to clarify uh, my statement. So let me bring them together here. That, um, so Jido is a very, very handsome man. So this thing is trying to say error, I don't know. So the thing there now is the fact that, sorry, let me just leave it. Let me, sorry, let me remove the red button, then let me bring them together. Jibe is a very good looking young man. He is tall, has strong masculine face. Okay, I didn't complete this one. And also has a well, well built body frame. So that's my definition of Jibe being very good looking. So when you are presenting your idea, that's the way you present your idea. Okay, for those of us who are maybe be missing one way or the other, it should be a bit very clear at this point in time. Okay, I said uh, before I uh, am true, I want to see the response to last assignment. This was the assignment I gave in the class last time. I said, what is the importance of education to a society? That is, you need to give me the explanation. Yes, that is, you need to, sorry, write the opening statement, that is, your idea, present it about the importance of education, then you go into detailed explanation of your idea. I say elaborate on the reason, that is, write a follow-up statement explaining okay i have not seen anybody drop in that ask and that is bad enough okay because i would not assume we are getting it and the knowledge gap i have to go through these routes to be very sure that i lay a solid foundation to writing effectively which has been the very biggest challenge of IELTS writers. Okay, for the sake of those who are joining for the first time, who are now corporate, I am going to explain uh, uh, or write this one now. And I'm going to write this, and everybody will write another one. Okay, the importance of education. Uh, education um, is... Um, a very important tool uh, for, okay, what do I want to use now for uh, developing human capital or resources of a nation? Okay, so education is a very important tool for the develop, for the developing, no, for, okay, for developing, I thought I would development, uh, human capital of a nation. Someone as a, okay, education gives us in knowledge, it develops in own perspective. Okay, um, this somebody has sent one, I'm going to comment on it later, but I'm still writing education is a very important tool for developing human capital of a nation because if you look at the question what is the importance of education to a society so my opening statement has presented uh the idea okay it's a very important tool for developing human capital 
in a society, then I need to elaborate how on the importance on how uh okay okay uh through uh different uh levels of education okay uh such as primary secondary and tertiary okay institutions okay different uh, professionals okay are trained can you see i can even stop here let me make it as simple as this i said through different levels of education or through different levels of our uh, system yeah let me put that that such as primary secondary and tertiary institution different professionals are trained okay so i can say these okay experts or the experts develop these experts okay um uh become equipped uh to contribute meaningfully to the economy economy of their country okay i could have stopped at the first one as my fact is okay here because i just wanted an elaboration okay these experts become equipped to contribute meaningful okay meaningfully to the economy of their country so can you see education is a very important tool for developing human capital of a nation okay so then i went further i said two different levels of education such as primary secondary and tertiary institution different professionals are trained these experts become equipped to contribute meaningfully to the economy of their country if you look at all the next two statements after this they were only trying they were only describing my initial statement that is the first idea statement and that is how you build your uh essay you don't build your essay by saying another thing outside the main idea that you introduced okay through different levels of education such as primary secondary and tertiary institution different professionals are trained i just went a bit further because i want us to start building more than one sentence follow up now these experts who are the experts professionals because i have mentioned them one logical way to build your sentence is that keywords here what are the keywords here human capital okay can you see human capital okay let me put them in black because the sentences are in different color codes look at um education those are keywords of a nation okay look at it now through different levels of education <coughs> i repeated education okay okay then i describe this educational system that is primary secondary school different professionals that's human capital you can see that the the keywords are repeated in different versions or in different formats you can see look at this last statement as well because the the keywords must connect each other i said these experts who uh, was i referring to i was referring to the professionals so one of the key things you need to do is to actually 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 um refer to some of the key components of the last sentence become equipped what does equipped train comes to 
it comes to education, training, everything. That's what equipped means in this aspect. To contribute, okay, I was elaborate, elaborating on developing the human capital to the economy of their country. So when you are writing a sentence and there is no continuity in, in keywords, you are not really making a, um, a good logical arrangement or presentation of your idea. You might just be saying many things that are unrelated. Okay, so I have given an example of how to write your introductory statement. I have stated two now. I did a first one which was simple. Jido is a very good looking young man. He is very tall, has a strong masculine face, and also has a well built body frame. That's my definition of Jido being good looking. Okay, I went and elaborated on the issue of good looking, tall, strong masculine face, body frame. So that's it. Then this one, I came to write a more advanced one. What is the importance of education? Education is a very important tool for developing human capital of a nation. Okay, and I said two different levels of education, such as primary, secondary, and tertiary institution. Okay, different professionals are trained. Okay, then I said these experts become equipped to contribute meaningfully to the economy of their country. That's the way to set and arrange your statement. Okay, this was the assignment and task we are going to do. Now I'm going to give a class task because the thing there is that I want to be sure that we are getting the course we need to progress this evening. Okay. So I want to say um, what is uh, the significance of social media okay okay to uh if, uh, let me put something i want it to be very specific what is the way what is the significance of social media in um let me say communication in recent times. The role of social media in communication in recent times. So the thing you will need to do is let me just uh, don't let me repeat it. Introduce the reason, uh, the point that is that significance. Introduce the significance. significance with an idea statement elaborate on the significance okay i am giving a five minutes uh okay i'm giving a five minutes uh, gap or timeline for response this is 9 22 by the time it is uh 9 27 i will be uh uh uh, the, the ones I've gotten, I'm going to uh, analyze or give feedback on them. Okay, for those joining on Facebook, you can drop in your comments to just be part of it. Okay, because there are those in the classroom situation who joined it through the platform, the classroom situation. Okay, please uh, send in your responses. This is the question, uh, sorry, what I posted here was the response of someone on education. The response of someone on education. Okay. The response of someone on education. Okay, that's why I highlighted it in red. This is the question. If you have seen the question, I would want to navigate to the my own, uh, the one I wrote down so that uh, you can use it as a, a guide. 
what is the significance of social media in communication? Mm. Okay. Uh, in uh, recent times, Okay, uh, someone raised his hand, but you have cancelled it, so I can't look at you anymore. Okay. Okay, no problem. I saw that you, you deleted your yeah, no problem with that. No problem. If you just join, uh, just uh, try and do the task. I said, what is the significance of social media and communication in recent times? Okay, someone said this. I am going to uh, write. Uh, I'm going to let me remove the one about education. I'm going to comment about it late on it later. One more minute. Uh, if on the hour of nine twenty-seven, I'm going to treat the one I have actually received because um, I want us to move very, very fast uh, uh, now. I want us to actually move very, very, very fast. Okay, uh, Bukola or the Tunji raise a uh, hand. Please, Bukola, can you just use the chat button at this point and send your concern? Yes, I uh, will be responding to it. Please just type in audio bad. Uh, something is wrong. Yes. Okay, this is uh, 928, so I will have to treat the response of this person. Okay. Uh, Importance of social media to enlighten the public. Uh, this is not a good sentence. This is not a good sentence. It is not a complete sentence. It's, it lacks the major component of uh, sentence. Okay, I'm going to rewrite it, a complete sentence, and it doesn't come in an ideal format. Okay. So, so those who came later somebody said audio is bad uh please every other person please confirm if the audio is bad if your audio is actually breaking it is not audio is bad it is network issue because um, my audio is very clear and uh except if it is breaking please clarify if it's breaking or it is bad 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 okay Somebody sent it. I'm going to consider it because it's the second one, but I won't consider another one because it's two minutes past. 
And for those who have been in the class for a long time, we need to start being uh, be able to communicate. Okay, this one is an incomplete sentence and I'm going to rewrite it because you want to present, uh, let me say, uh, social media has uh, become a very table so okay for public enlightenment okay because you said importance of social media is to that was not a i would have said okay d will make it the important okay look at it the importance of social media is to enlighten enlighten the public about what is going on in the society my comes more in an idea form and social media sorry i didn't complete it has become a veritable tool for public enlightenment okay okay so i say it's become a veritable tool for enlightenment okay so i would say social then i want to clarify uh most of us just wrote the idea statement we did not elaborate the two people that wrote it i think uh as a matter of fact there are people who are just joining the class for the first time maybe somebody the second time okay social media has become a veritable tool for public enlightenment then i will go into why uh what do i mean by a veritable tool for public enlightenment social or media okay unlike uh mass uh, media okay uh, like television connects uh, okay millions of people around the globe okay at a time or on the go making it possible to reach more people okay with information okay news and even educative okay programs okay so okay social media on like mass media like television connects millions of people around the globe at okay the same time i want to say the same time making it possible to reach more people with information news and even educative uh programs uh maybe by the click <laughs> of a button okay can you see now the importance i said it is useful for public enlightenment so i now broke what i meant by public enlightenment down as a social media on like mass media, I could remove the mass media. I just wanted to compare. It's just a way of making your sentence or statement a bit more elaborate and complex. Okay, connect millions of people around the globe at the same time, making it possible to reach more people with information, news, and even educative, educative program by the click of, okay, a button. Okay, so this is, the thing i wrote the idea please we need to start writing ideas most of us are still struggling serious and badly um okay Someone has sent uh, one, but I will be going to eat. It's going to draw the class back a bit. Someone said she can't see what I am uh, writing. Please, everybody confirm. If you can't see what I'm writing, 
uh, if you are joining from the Zoom platform or the Facebook platform, please let me know. If you can't see what I'm writing, confirm. If everybody can't see me, the problem will be a uh, network at my end. Okay, so I will have to stop the share button at this point in time. Uh, can you see my face? Confirm that you can see me in video before I transit to the slide. Please confirm if you can see me in video format, then I will show the slide again. It is the network if everybody can't see me. So I will have to pause a bit. Okay, so you, it is confirmed that my face can be seen. I think it is the loading of the slide that it's uh, very, very slow. So I have displayed the slide one more time. I have displayed the slide one more time. Okay, social media has become a veritable tool for public enlightenment. Okay, I want to string some of my statements. I, I just want to use or turn it over. Let me just say digital media. Okay, media on like mass media, like television. Okay, some of us have, okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, confirm that you can see now. Look at my opening statement, it says, I collected the person that sent this one. I said social media has become a veritable tool for public enlightenment. Digital media on like max media like television. Okay, connect millions of people around the globe at the same time, making it possible to reach more people with information, news, and even educated program by the click of a button. Can you see that public enlightenment, I define it as in making it possible to reach people with information, news, and even educated program. So every keyword that was said here was interpreted that is broken down, has become a veritable tool, important tool. So that is what, that is what it means to write <coughs> an opening statement and then to describe what you have written in your opening statement. Uh, okay, because of uh, the people who participated, I won't uh, want to discourage them. The rate at which you are generating idea is absolutely uh, snail crawling, you have, the exam is 40 minutes, then you need to be able to generate idea at the speed of light, yes. You need to be able to generate idea, one minute, two minutes, and then when you present the idea, you don't need to focus on um, not deviating from the keywords. Okay, it makes us to get information quickly. Uh, the person that wrote this, you cannot use it. You cannot use a pronoun if you have never mentioned that thing in particular. So when you are referring to something as they, he, she, it, you would have mentioned that entity before, before you can use it to represent that entity. So this is a wrong way to start a statement. No, you can say social media makes us to get information quick information. Okay, then you said getting update of what is happening around the world and also spread. This is not a complete sentence. Okay, so if you say it makes, uh, it makes getting update of what is happening around the world, around, happening around us and also spread report of any incident. Okay, it makes getting update Okay, let me say easy because it was not a complete sentence. It makes getting update of what is happening around us and also spread report of any incident easily. Okay, so this is how. When you are mentioning the issue the first time, you need to properly refer to it. Okay. 
let me quickly pick someone. Those who came late, time, I will want to accommodate you, but you need to start generating ideas fast because it's one of the problems. And why? How do you generate ideas fast? We will do with it under vocabulary development right now. Because that's what I want us to really focus on today. Why we are back on this stage is that most of us did not do the assignment. You are drawing the class seriously back. This is five uh, lectures, two and a half weeks. Yeah, into the lecture. Okay, social media has been a strategy to enhance. Okay, when you use the word strategy here, as an action, you can't use it in isolation. If it's somebody is, it's become the strategy of many in enhancing communication, you need to refer to someone when you are using the word strategy. So, because it's an action, communication in this to enhance communication in this time, you did not give us the context of what you mean. Context missing. In what sense is it a, a, a uh, enhancing? Uh, I said significance. If you say enhancing, you have not really touched on anything. Okay, different ways of communicating through the social media uh, have created opportunity for people to communicate. Okay, effectively without interference with any suitable social media. I don't know what this means. When you say make it possible for people to communicate effectively, fine. I think you, you are with the without interference. I don't understand what this means. With any suitable social media, this is not a correct part of the statement. I will delete it because I don't understand it. That is, we can communicate. Yeah, I think I will accept it from here that it is we can communicate. Via WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram. Please don't use ETC in uh, maybe in your IELTS. ETC is not bad, something. Or just use amongst many other platforms. Thereby making social media a great strategy for a good flow of communication. You keep mentioning communication, communication, communication. You did not break communication down. So your statements are repetition of themselves without an explanation. Yeah, this uh, statement is a repetition without explanation. So uh, different ways of communicating through the social media has created opportunity for people to communicate. No, you need to break communication down. Maybe make it possible for people to interrelate, form good relationship, transact businesses. You need to lay hand on communication. So you need to lay hands on communication. That was lacking in this uh, particular uh, presentation. That was actually lacking. Someone wrote this. This is the last one I'm going to write. Okay, this person wrote this. We will move now. The only thing is that you, the class has been delayed uh, uh, unnecessarily. So, this has helped everyone because it connects individual far and near together online real time. Where is your, let me check. Have you sent any uh, idea statement before? The person that sent it, uh, okay, yes, you have done because I wanted to just please always send them together. Tracing them is not easy for me because I have to run through everybody's message, it's not going to send them. Okay, social media has made communication so easy. Okay, this one should be S, and uh, I would say, uh, easy. Okay, individuals at the comfort of their own interact and share information real time. Fantastic. Okay. This has helped everyone because it connects. Okay, this has helped everyone because it connects um, 
individuals uh, connect individual far and near together online real time. You are repeating real time the second time because you are just repeating yourself. I think you'll have used it better. This makes it possible for people to connect far and wide. Okay, yes, in the real time, on time or on the go. I will have used, if I will have used on the go, because on the go, because on the moment, this is everyone because it connects. Because, um, okay, uh, the comfort of their own uh, interact and share information real time. Uh, this has helped everyone because it connects. You are far from social media. You did not mention social media in your second statement. And then here you came to refer to it as it. It's not bad, but your, the, the message is lost somewhere. So because digital media, I want you to mention now, okay, media, yes, connects individuals far and near together online on the go. So that is it. So let's go into the second, second part now. The first part is how to write your structure, sentences, that is, you want to present your idea, how to construct your idea. From here, next time we'll elaborate, but let's go into the second thing for today. The second thing for today <laughs> is vocabulary development. Yes, I would say vocabulary development. The first thing we've done is sentence structure. I've done it in class before, but I want to go into vocabulary development now. While I'm teaching it will become obvious when I'm true. The first thing you need to, every week I supply journals to students in class. This is not a journal actually, but I can refer to it as a journal. This is one of the IELTS reading texts. I decided to pick it this week for a purpose. Um, IELTS reading texts actually are research materials that were used to conduct the exam. Okay, so this is the title of the journal, While Americans Are So... Um, why are Americans so angry? Okay. Why are Americans so angry? The first thing you do to every journal, because if you look at this journal, you will see a pattern. Okay. So the first thing you do to this paragraph is the main idea. The first thing you do to this paragraph is the main idea. Okay. The main idea. What's the main idea? Let's go through it. Americans are known generally, are generally known for having a positive outlook on life. Okay, but with the countdown for November's presidential election, now well underway, polls shows, uh, show voters are angry. So what is the main idea? I've read the sentence, I can easily pick the idea, but I normally tell people the first sentence Anything that is constantly referred to, or if you could quickly pick the main idea, if you can't, anything that you can quickly refer to is the main idea. Okay, please pay attention. It is very important to get this main idea because it will help you to also get how to present your main idea. Okay. I said anything that is repeated or referred to once or twice is often the main idea is centered around that thing. Okay, now Americans, if you look at the topic, American is being repeated again. For example, if you don't have a topic, what will you do? Americans are known for, okay, but when well, come down to election now, well, voters are angry. Okay, twice Americans were referred to, first it called them Americans, then it called them voters. So the issue is our main idea is centered around Americans. So what is the issue about Americans? I generally want to ask this, but countdown to election, voters have this. So 
it is just talking about Americans, maybe changing mood. Yeah, changing mood. Or what you can call anger. So because that change in mood is just anger. Everything the passage is talking about, the paragraph is talking about here is about anger. I want to really explain this issue of mean idea before I go into the other part of the vocabulary development. Because if you understand the paragraph, it is easier for you to relate. So change in the mood of American or American anger, about, those are the main idea. Then if you look at the second sentence, he said, this may explain what is referred to as this. Something has been mentioned. The change in American mood or their anger, that's what is labeled as this, may explain the success of non-mainstream candidates, such as Republican Donald Trump and Democrat Bernie Sanders. Okay, this, this their anger, so look at the final question, so, but what is fueling the frustration? You can see that anger is the issue. Frustration was used to replace anger in this particular context. So the main idea is the American change in mood. Now I will go to the second paragraph. When I get to the second paragraph, I will also give you the main idea. Then the third paragraph, I would want you to possibly try Possibly from the first sentence, maximum two seconds, but normally I tell people if you're able to properly scrutinize. So I want to tell you how to get the main idea, how to get the main idea when it's a complex or a very cumbersome sentence. How to get the main idea is what was repeatedly. mentioned or referred to yes or referred to is your main idea how to get the main idea if there's anything that is constantly repeated and referred to that's how you get your main idea i will take you to because it is easy for some people to easily get it because it's the action yes fine the uh, action, the actor, the subject, the predicate, fine. But in a complex situation, you are looking around yourself. What's the all this about? Okay. This is the second paragraph. I just want us to understand this main idea before I go into the second aspect. A CNN OLC poll carried out in December 2015 suggests 69% of Americans are either very or somewhat angry about things, the way things are going in the U.S. Okay. What is the main idea about this? Okay. I will say there are two things it's promoting here. He's talking about Americans' anger, but what is, what is he talking about? Americans' anger is giving us the statistics of their anger and reason for their anger. Look at it. In December, suggests that 69% of Americans, okay, the way things are going. The number that are angry and the way things are going. Look at the second sentence. That's why I said, if you are still confused in the first sentence, and the same proportion, can you see, is giving us a figure again, are angry because, cause and effect. Can you see the first two statements use a cause and effect situation? They gave a statistics and it's also given a cause and effect situation. I angry because of this. So this paragraph is actually talking about Americans' anger, the statistics behind it, and also the reason from the anger. And if you look at the old paragraph, the old paragraph is actually emphasizing on the statistics of anger and the reason for anger. If you can see the second statement, you say they're angry because everything is just benefiting, blah, blah, blah. Many people are not only angry, they are angrier than a year ago, according to the 
So it's talking about that proportion again. Here it came and broke them down according to party and according to uh, is it demography, Latino and African American. So that's the way to get the main idea of a paragraph. Now I will take you to the third paragraph. I want you to be able to get the main idea here first. Please bring out the main idea of this uh, uh, paragraph. If you look at the way they are constructing their main idea, that's the way I wanted you to start constructing your main idea. Okay, look at this one. Give us, give me the main idea. I'm giving three minutes for this to happen. Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Um, uh, Favor and Timmy Tayo, I just think you're raising your hand has been attended to, if not, he sent a message. Okay. You said you wanted to see the previous slide. Uh, I'm sorry, the class uh, has left. I can't display the previous slide. Uh, we are on the slide that starts with candidates. Yes, I won't be able to display because I'm going to be taking the class back um, from the sentence. Someone said it is breaking. That is a network issue. Please, it's breaking at your own confirm. If it's breaking at your everybody's end, then it's my network that is problematic. But if it's breaking at just individuals, few or one person, it will be individuals network issue. Please confirm if the uh, the broadcast is breaking at your end. Okay, so I'm gonna send these as a, um, okay. The candidates are also, um, okay. Okay, people have sent this. I will still take us this my idea because I don't want to jump in because I want us to understand how academic or, um, yes, essays are being structured. Initially, I wanted to rush over it, but I discovered that I can't rush it. I can't. Okay, okay, let's go into it now. Three people have responded, said candidate also feel the anger. Okay, uh, candidate have sensed the mood. Okay, they have sensed what? The mood, the mood, the change in mood, the anger, and are adopting, who is it referring to as uh, adopting? The candidate, so it is two times it has referred to the candidate in this sentence. So it's about the candidate, and adopting the rhetorics. Rhetorics is to repeat something. So it's about the candidate. So I will say uh, candidates. 
Okay, even if you don't understand what the what rhetoric means, you should, but even you are under exam condition and you are not sure about it. Look at the second sentence. Donald Trump, who has arguably tapped into voters for registration. Okay, can you see the issue of tapped? They said they have sensed it has tapped into, is taking advantage of it, sensing the mood. It's almost the same thing. Okay, they mentioned one candidate now, better than other candidates says. This is the second time the word rhetoric is repeated. So it's all about what the candidates are saying. Yeah, look at it. Candidates have sensed the mood. They have sensed the anger and are adopting, and the candidates are adopting rhetoric. Rhetoric is to say something over and over or to keep uh, saying something. Okay. So you can see, if you look at it throughout, Donald Trump, who has arguably tapped into the voters' anger better than any other candidate, says he's very angry. Says he's very angry. And would accept blah, 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 the, ang the anger of uh, the mantle of anger. While rival Republican uh, Ben Carson says, look at the word says, they are applying the word literally to what they are saying. <clears throat> so we can see now that this is the main idea. What candidates are saying. Candidates are also feeling the anger. Fantastic. You can say that, but you can take it further. I think you got the idea. Reason for political parties anger. No, this is out of the line. Everybody, not everybody, you need to categorize those who has adopted the anger mode. You need to categorize. It is actually candidates, it's actually politicians. Yes. The person who was closest was this person who wrote this one. Candidates are also feeling the mood, but the, what is missing is um, uh, what do I call it now? Um, yes, the word saying, the, what is particular about the candidate. Uh, I want us to do this one. Let me expand it to make it uh, clear. I want us to do this. Okay. I want you to read, uh, uh, give me the main idea. Look at this. This is a very lengthy paragraph. When we get to reading, you will see how important main idea is to solve your problem. Okay, please give me the main idea just from the first sentence. Okay, this class is expand, extended beyond normal. I have apologized ahead. I said this writing class might go beyond 10, maybe 10, 15, so that uh, we have a lot to cover. And also the fact that you guys are stretching me a bit by not doing your task. That's the truth. And you are making the class very, very uh, elongated. What's the main idea of this paragraph? Please, the first sentence should give you the idea. If you can't get it from the first sentence, try and read some part of the second sentence, it will become clearer. What is the main idea? Three minutes is almost, um, yeah, I think it's the third minute. Please, uh, favor, kindly type the problem again.
Okay, nobody is coming up with the main idea. Uh, okay, somebody has said, uh, okay, something, I'll be picking this person. Actually, yes, economic failure is the main idea. And what is it about economic failure? Uh, source of anger. When we get to the issue of main idea, I normally say I will explain it when we get to reading. If a particular keyword has been located in the first paragraph and is repeated over again, you should note it any time you see it. Okay, economic failure, the failure of the economy to deliver real progress to middle class and working class Americans over the past few years is the most fundamental source of public anger and dissatisfaction. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Although the country may have recovered from recession, economic output as is all about economy. Everything in this paragraph was about economy. Okay. <clears throat> so that is one aspect. The number one thing is the main idea. And I have gone to the length to explain main idea. The number two thing is to find alternative words and synonyms. Words that are used interchangeably. Yes, words that are used interchangeably here. Look at it. Um, Americans are known to be having a positive outlook towards life, but with the countdown to November's general election, well on the way, voters are angry. This may explain the success of non mainstream people. Okay, but what is following the uh, frustration? So, in this part, I'm going to be picking frustration. I'll be picking anger as used interchangeably. <coughs> okay, and I'll be picking something like mood. Okay, I didn't see it. Positive outlook, outlook towards life. Outlook on life. Okay, let me leave it at that. So those are the things uh, that have been used as uh, higher words and expression. So when I say higher words and expression, sorry, alternate words, I will just put anger. Okay. Frustration. That's what I will put under uh, alternate words or synonyms. Yes. Then the next thing I will be picking the higher expression. Okay, somebody has gone to the next paragraph. Let's deal with the first paragraph. Okay, okay, you are still talking about the economy. You need to be able to get your main idea as fast as possible. Then the next thing is higher words and expression. If you go through the paragraph, you will, um, sorry, other part of the uh, um, journal you will see other words that were used in place of anger frustration yes other words okay higher words and expression i will pick the word falling i will pick the word um okay non-mainstream politician non-mainstream politician okay that is unconventional politician that is not the everyday politician. Okay, surely those are the things I will pick for higher words and expression. So that's the first stage of vocabulary development. But what do I want you to do? I want you to start forming sentences with these words. I want you to form sentences with anger and frustration. Okay, so I will say in your for alternate words, okay, some extended or elaborate sentence. And then for higher expressions or words, some simple or make simple sentences. Okay, I will give you an example. For example, in the alternative, I said, uh, I picked the word anger and frustration. 
okay, uh, let me say many Nigerians are angry with the present administration. Okay, and uh, the frustration Frustration, frustration is caused uh, by the security challenge. Okay, the uh, government has not been able to tackle. Okay, so I'm just saying that many Nigerians are angry with the present administration and the frustration is caused by uh, the security challenges the government has not been able to tackle. You can see I use the word angry the first time because most of us are repeating our word and I use the word frustration the second time and even at that there were words like uh, the word administration and the word government. I didn't repeat the same word, government. Okay, so those are the ways you need to write um, parts of the ways that you can enhance your mark in IELTS. So I said IR expression, but this IR expression is just to make you able to use higher and not everyday expression in your okay. For example, I use the word cost, the uh, present security uh, challenge in Nigeria is fueled by social uh, media uh, let me say uh, is fueled by wrong information spread to social i don't say you should agree with me media i just wanted to point out uh instead of saying cost by i say uh, in nigeria the present security challenge in nigeria is failed instead of saying it is cost it's failed carries more uh, weight in terms of higher expression and it nudges your map upward if you are consistent in the usage. Okay, so that's the reason I have taken you through the roots of writing higher, of going through the main idea of writing higher words uh, and uh, uh, expression and alternate words and synonyms. So, I said write an extended statement with this and write a pretty simple statement to the one that has to do uh, with your, uh, sorry, with the, uh, what do I call it now, that has to do with the higher uh, and uncommon words. Falling non means true. Okay. Okay. Uh, for the next minute, I want you to make sentences. Uh, elaborate sentence with anger and frustration. You can use another word that replaces anger and frustration and also make sentence with non means true. Yes, not non means in this is what you normally say, not your everyday politician, non means true politician. So, uh, please make a sentence with them. The two and make two different sentences. I know time is gone. Make two different sentences. Anger and frustration. Then you use non means to to form another sentence. Please, let's do it on time. We will be closing by maybe 10 20. I know uh, we are tired, relaxed, but we, I have to finish this part to make sense, to make something meaningful. So,
Okay, let me copy the words uh, to the place where I made my own sentence. Maybe it will guide. Okay, this is the higher words and expression. Uh, then, higher word and expression. This is the one you will use to make a simple sentence. Higher word and expression. Okay, the next one is uh, alternate words and synonyms. Okay, it is um, anger, uh, frustration. Okay, so write uh, a sentence for each. Okay, someone has sent one. Okay, I will comment on it. I'm expecting others. This is an encouragement for me because you need to start learning how to write your sentences and piece them together. Okay, please, um, next class, I will be moving to the next stage uh, because at this time, I think a lot are assuming that they understand they are not contributing. I will be moving to the next stage. Okay, you said anger. I, I wanted you to form an elaborate statement with the two of them where you will use anger and frustration or frustrated or frustrating at the same time in the same sentence. If you cannot use it in the same sentence, form a second sentence that is related where you need to use your the anger. Okay, I will be adjusting this one. I want one that has that form a sentence with non-mainstream politician, okay. Oh, sorry, non-mainstream, non-mainstream politician, okay. Okay, uh, this person that wrote this first one, your essay was, uh, your presentation was not clear. The staff were all angry as their salary is being delayed, which made most of them got frustrated. No, you are repeating the same thing. I would have loved you to say, okay, the staffs were, okay, oh, sorry, the staffs were all angry, okay, at the management, uh, okay and their frustration 
okay, was due to delayed salary payment. Okay, you can see the staff were all angry at the management and their frustration was due to delayed salary payment. The way you, you twisted it, you just repeated the same thing and glued it together. The staff were all angry at the management and their frustration was due to delayed salary payment. Anger has become, this one should, the major reason for economic imbalance in our modern society. Okay, I do not agree with the context, but the sentence is right. Okay, you said anger has become the major reason for economic societies. Uh, modern side association is doing the citizen. You didn't properly contextualize this statement. I will present it now here. You didn't properly contextualize this statement. I said anger has become the major reason for economic imbalance in our society. Okay, as frustration is dwindling, the citizens, I say, I would say productive productivity because you saw this avenue. Part. I do not agree with your logic of presentation, but this will make it better. Anger has become the major reason for economic imbalance in our society. Uh, modern society, as frustration is dwindling, the citizens. Uh, productivity or productive capacity. Okay, so this is the way to do it. Nobody use non-mainstream. I will use non-mainstream. Okay, non-mainstream. Uh, okay, uh, stream uh, politicians. I will use the word politicians again. Uh, uh, becoming uh, popular. Okay, with uh, the Nigerian electorate, okay? Non-mainstream politicians are becoming popular with the Nigerian electorate, okay? Uh, the last uh, two presidents of the country are unconventional or are uh, not your everyday politician. Okay, so I just explained it. it uh, I never needed to do, but I just did to make it clear. So non-mainstream politicians are becoming popular with the Nigerian electorate. The last two presidents of the country are not your everyday politician. Okay, so some people have sent in some other thing. Yes, I will paste them here, but I won't be able to go over them. Time has gone, has run seriously against us. I will bring them to the next class. Yes, I will bring them and come comment on them. I am pasting them because I am encouraging those who are pasting them, even if you are getting it late. Yes, I appreciate that you are just trying to at least catch up, contribute to the class. I don't want you to sit back and assume you understand. So, that is the end of the lecture for today. And against the next class, I will give task for me to know if you have understood what I thought. I will give task. This is the task. Number one, we have vocabulary development. The paragraphs that I did not treat, please check them, like this one, get me the main idea. Number two, you do all that, all these things under the vocabulary development that I did today. Everything that I did, you will do them. Then number two, what can be done to restore Nigeria's confidence in our politician. I say right one point solution. Why I am presenting this is that I wanted us to use this American anger situation to discuss Nigerian situation. Yes, but since we couldn't do it, but this is the task you are asked to, you will be required to bring to the next class. Okay, uh, my network went bad. I'm sorry about that. But I was just, uh, let me share the slide again.
this is the task for the next class. Please do the task. Please and please do the task and send some hours before class. This is what will make it possible. If you start drawing me back when we start writing essay, I might not actually listen or attend to your questions. I will tell you what were your contribution in the normal class when we were trying to build how to write properly. By the time next week class comes, you will see how I will connect this vocabulary development. I am even connecting it, how to present your main idea, how to write your sentences with higher expression, how to construct using alternate words and synonyms. That's what I'm trying to build. So do this task. So good night at this moment. And I will say uh, thank you for joining. You can request for the slide uh, if you are in the Zoom class meeting. And so I will say good night for now. I'll meet you next week uh, again on Tuesday, same time. So bye, everybody.